My name is Mrs. Mba. Guilty conscience? Cut it out, please. Tell me. Was I that bad? Do you want me to continue with this case or you want me to withdraw straight away? Okay, good. All right. Excuse me. What do you call what you put there? What? That pile of sand there. That's not what I ordered for. But those are the same thing I supply all the time, sir. Well, that may be so, madam. But now I am in charge and I will not stand for that rubbish. So what I'll advise you to do is go and get a truck and evacuate that rubbish you put there. And get me the specified sand I asked for in the LPO. Or I will find another supplier. Well, have you finished what I asked you to do? No, I want to give her a message. Sir. What's his problem? Madam, this is our new organ who takes shit at all. You better me go find Tipa, we go pack this out now, or else they go happen. I don't know. So tell me, why do you want to divorce your wife? Well, I think the reason is um, very obvious, and you know it. Enlighten me. All right, I will. My wife has been unable to give to me what you gave to me last night. Mr. Dimobi. Chiki, please. Do you really want me to walk out on this? I'm going to ask you again. Tell me, Chi, was I really that bad? Excuse me? You just give an answer to my questions and we'll forget about it and stop talking about it. Are you this obstinate? This once. <clears throat> okay. You were good. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? Again? You are my best. So tell me, how good was it? Oh, for God's sake, is all this necessary? Oh, well, to you, maybe not. But to me, it means the whole world. Why? Because you're adorable. And then you got me thinking, you know. What? That it wouldn't be such a bad idea if I um, had you as my wife. Stop. So tell me, how good was it? Excellent. How oh, excellent. You did to me what I never imagined was possible. Mm, interesting. Go on. I only read about orgasms in books. I never ever thought it was going to happen. Okay? But now? I know it's real. For God's sake, Chiki, I had it four times under you last night. Are you satisfied? Boom. I tell you, darling, it feels magical to have you speak up. But if I may ask you, it was so pleasurable. Why then do you want to abandon this unquantifiable pleasure? It is devilish. Devilish? Yes. But it's God who commanded that we we'll multiply and fill the earth. Do not twist the Bible. All right, forgive me, 
Why then did you bring the devil into the picture? I know it. I have read it in books that the devil's virtues lies in his loins. And believe you, Mr. Chike Dimobi, it is there. You're calling me the devil now? I haven't said so. Now, please, can we go back to the case? The reason you want to divorce your wife? You know, if you ask me, I'd rather you and I went back to bed. Not on your life. Never again. And I am not kidding. Come in. It was my mistake supplying the wrong sand. But you know, all mistakes are amenable. Who gave you this hotel and room number? <laughs> I'm a thorough woman. Never mind my mistake of supplying the wrong sand. So what do you want? <sighs> like I already hinted, all mistakes are amenable. I promise that the next supply will be your exact Specification. Uh, and, and the ones at the sites, what oh. happens to them? Can't you let sleeping dogs lie? Miss Number. What do I call you? Dan. <laughs> I'm a generous woman. Very, very generous. When it comes to swiftness and light. You see, in my line of business, challenges are bound. Come, and you will see I have a unique way of amending my mistakes. <laughs> Indeed. Now, let me tell you something. Do you see this? Do you know what this is? I have seen many of those before. The owners. Ended up begging me for more. Really? Well, young lady, I am not one of them. Don't bet your life on it yet. Adam ate the apple when his turn came. You are a descendant of Adam. Take a bite. Now you listen. I listen very, very well. If a man did this to my wife, I would kill. Who are you killing? Huh? Who? The man, of course. And if he were married, I would kill his wife as well. Why the wife? Matter of fact, I, I, I'd kill my wife as well if she were to do such a thing. Well, I am not your wife. And I don't have a husband to kill. You, me, your wife, or anybody. Now listen. You get out of here now. <laughs> out. <laughs> hey. So tell me, why do you want to divorce your wife? She's an iceberg. Ice what? She's naive. Look, that woman is unlovable. She's. You know the rest. Just watch your language. All right, fine. She's undoable. You prefer that one? What is wrong with you, Mr. Dimobi? I used to think you were a gentleman. Crap. A gentleman is one whose social ills haven't been discovered. You discovered mine last night, she. Mrs. Mba. <laughs> I've been married for 15 months. I know. But what you do not know is that I've only made love to my wife three times. Three times? That's absurd. Exactly the reason I need a divorce. That's still not enough, though. Do you also know that on those three occasions, my wife 
for some reason, was able to wake everybody up in that neighborhood. Why, if I may ask? Maybe to advertise. Do you mind being serious? I am serious. Now you tell me, what kind of marriage is that? Have you considered praying about it? <laughs> prayers, did you say prayers? What then will be my prayer point? Oh dear Lord, please I want to make love to my wife. Can you please shut her mouth for a few minutes so that I can do my business? Cheeky. Mr. Dimobi, what you have just told me is not enough reason for someone to divorce a partner. Says who? I do. That sounds like some marriage vow. I do. Please, can you be serious? All I'm trying to say is that you don't have grounds for divorce. Listen, Chi, you are my lawyer, okay? And not some, some moral instructor. Stop this. Which is why I will not pick up a case that won't stand in court. Oh, uh, I just told you that I want a divorce. I've told you why as well. You are my lawyer, make it stick. The Bible says that if I'm... Please, please, I'm not seeking for some church divorce. I'm talking about the court, so can we try as much as we can to leave the Bible out of it? I can't. Have you forgotten who I am? Good morning, madam. Yes, good morning. I'm Inspector Mark. That's my partner, Sergeant Okoro. Uh, Madam, we are deeply sorry for this unfortunate incident. Please, just sit down. Thank you, ma'am. Well, um, you will agree with me that this is not the best time to stop by. But it's a very disturbing case. We're talking of hired assassin or something like that. But who will want to kill my daughter? Eh? Um, that's what we're here to find out, Ma. We understand your daughter was married to Mr. Dimobi and they both reside in Lagos. Yes. How did you get to know that? We are men from the Nigerian Police Force, Criminal Investigation Department. Okay. Okay, ma'am. When did your daughter arrive in Ugo? Four days ago. Why? She's meant to be with her husband. Or was there any form of quarrel? Uh, not quite, Inspector. You see, my daughter loves me. Oh, loved me since 15 months of her marriage. No month has passed without her coming to spend at least seven days with me. Well, during her last visit, was she looking like someone who was under pressure or did you notice anything abnormal about her? Not quite. Was she jumpy or felt scared any time the doorbell rang? Yes. Yes? That sort of. It's like she shied away, always darting into the room whenever the doorbell rings, which happens often. Okay. Uh, did her husband call in the past four days? Just once. Once? Yes. You see, Inspector, my daughter and her husband, they weren't getting along fine the way they should be. How do you mean? It is an attitudinal problem. But they still love each other. And come to think of it. What? My daughter has this highly unusual feelings whenever her husband comes around. How do you mean? My daughter will be inside this house with all of us. But whenever her husband pressed our bell, my daughter would mention his name and rush to the door and walk right back into the house with him. It has continued to amaze not only me, but the entire household. And did this happen often? 
oh, all the time, dating back to, to when they were even cutting. Isn't that something? Absolutely. Okay, madam, is there any other thing you want to tell us? I don't think I can remember much now. And I want to believe that you will want the killer of your daughter apprehended and properly punished. Exactly. So any information you give to us now, no matter how little, it will help. It's just that... Yes, go ahead, ma'am. The night my daughter was murdered, we were all here watching a movie when the doorbell rang. Okay, so what happened? My daughter stood up, mentioned her husband's name and walked down to the door characteristically. Okay, then? We had two gunshots. And before we could do anything, my daughter was dead. It's, it's okay, madam. It's okay. It's okay. Now, this is very important. Did her husband ever visit that lady? Even later. Okay. You are with her, right? Yes. Have you called Mr. Demobi on this tragedy? I haven't, but I will. I will very soon. Okay, don't bother about that. The sergeant here and I will, will do that. How about supposing he calls? Tell him anything. Tell him, tell him your daughter is not at home. Well, of course, that's true. She's, she's not at home. <laughs> Mr. Demobi, what you need is prayers. For how long? It's been what? Just 15 months. And you call 15 months just? Of course. All right, I'm going to have to do this without a second, okay? Now we'll have 60 minutes in every hour. And then we'll have about 24 hours in each day, right? And then we'll have about 30 to 31 days every month. Here, I want to do the maths. What for? Tell me how many minutes we've got in 15 months. Come on, don't be too rigid. It took me 30 minutes to make you come under me four times. Please do the maths and find out how many minutes you have in 15 months and see what I have been missing. Running through their veins. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stop I'm, it! I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. Come yeah. on now, I wasn't expecting you. Yeah, but that's why it's a surprise. Otherwise, it wouldn't have its meaning. Hmm? I'm sorry. Oh, God. Please, next time, don't jump on me like that. I may not scare, but the baby certainly isn't a lawyer yet. Baby? Yes, eight weeks. The doctor confirmed yesterday. In here? Yeah. My baby's in here. Yes! Oh my God, Jesus, my God, Jesus, my God, Jesus, thank you so much. Oh. I love you. After three years, I finally put one in there. I love you, I love you. I just, I, 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 you know what? I am taking you out to dinner. I'm, I'm sorry, but you have to go and get dressed. It's not so bad, actually. But going out to dinner, that's the kind of surprise you like, Abby. <laughs> yeah, bring your stuff. I have another surprise for you. Where's your jacket? I, this is the kind of surprise you like, Abby. Oh 
know what? Mm -hmm. Cannot even imagine how excited I am right now. I understand. I also want to say thank you for sticking by me all these years. Ah, leave that thing. All the glory goes to God. <laughs> anyway, tell me all about your case that you're working on now. It's confidential. Oh. Sorry, forgive me. No, no, when I say confidential, I don't mean to you. Yeah, but still your client. I mean, you owe him some privacy. Not to my husband. My faith, our faith, requires that we do not keep anything from one another. Still, you're his lawyer. I didn't study law to throw away my Christian belief. Sorry. It's a divorce matter. Interesting. Very. Very interesting. So who's getting divorced? The man. Oh. He must have his reasons. Sweetheart, no reason is enough for someone to want to throw away a 15-month-old marriage. Ah, you're forgetting infidelity. Oh, that. What's the matter? <coughs> Nothing. Uh. <coughs> Are you okay? <clears throat> yes, it's just that my client doesn't believe that marriage is for better for us. But surely explained it to him. I have, but he wouldn't bulge. Then maybe you might have to drop it. Drop the case? No, no, I don't intend to do that. Let me get this straight. <clears throat> you want to defend someone who wants to get a divorce without justification? Not that either. Then what? I want to stick by my client so he doesn't get another lawyer who would convince the judge to grant divorce. So, meaning? Meaning I want to help save the woman's marriage. That's, that's, that's good, but it sounds very tricky to me. I know, that's why I'm believing God to intercede on the poor woman's behalf. Amen. Amen, brother. <laughs> So early, what are you up to? Honey, it's a quarter past eight. Are you serious? What, you wanna check? You must have been very tired. Maybe the baby? It's not the baby. It's you. So, where are you up to? I'm going straight to the head office and... Uh, and? Well, I'll have to go to Abuja later in the afternoon. Abuja? Yeah. How long is this going to take? Well, I'm looking at uh, two weeks, tops. Or oh, more. Come on, baby. See, Don, I need you around me, especially now the baby's on the way. Yes, and I promise you, I will not spend an hour longer than necessary. So why didn't you tell him last night? Last night, he happened to be talking about your divorce case during dinner. And then we came back and uh, decided to make more babies. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I'm off. Mm -hmm. Miss you. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Timothy. What brings you so early to my office? The case. You know, I was on my way to the office this morning. But, um, you know, on the second thought, I decided to come in so that you and I can talk. Okay. How often do you read the Bible? Well, as often as uh, it doesn't cause me injuries. How do you mean? I do know for sure that some people read the Bible and take it very seriously. That they suddenly assume the status of Jesus Christ. And then if you allow them, they invariably begin to tell you very unimaginable things, and I don't like to go there. I see. There you go. Okay. Let's read 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 11. Yeah, 1 Corinthians, Corinthians 7, you said. Yes, I read. Okay. From verse 11. All right. But if she does, she must remain unmarried or else be reconciled to her husband. And her husband 
must not divorce his wife. Oh, well, if you don't mind, can we um, read a bit further down? Same chapter, verse 34. Okay. An unmarried woman and the virgin is anxious for the things of the Lord, that she may be holy both in her body and in her spirit. However, the married woman is anxious for the things of the world, how she may gain the approval of her husband. So? My wife does not satisfy me as far as I'm concerned. That in itself is a deal breaker. No. See, your wife loves you. She may be going through some psychological, you know, problems right now, but all she needs from you is your cooperation, your love and care to get her out of it. And I'm sorry I'm fed up. No. <laughs> no? Yes. You need to see a psychotherapist. Maybe he will suggest therapy. Then you can work things out. I'm not here. Just try it. Then call me back and we can continue to talk on your divorce issues. All right. All right. But didn't I remind you that the situation here is not medical? Mr. Dimobi, I say to you that whosoever divorces his wife, except on the grounds of unfaithfulness and marries another woman, commits adultery. I've heard that so many times before. I just quoted Jesus Christ. It doesn't change anything. Chiki, go home to your wife. Sort your issues out. Please don't give my husband a reason to want to divorce me. I love my husband very much. You do, huh? Yes. With every bit of myself. I see. I'll see you around. What? What do you mean she's not home? Um, Mama, is everything okay? Okay, um, just um, let her know I called and uh, I need her to call me back as soon as she gets back, okay? All right, thank you. Afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Who are you? Inspector Mark. Sergeant Okoro. Okay. We're from the Criminal Investigation Department, Nigerian Police Force, Enugu State Command. Waiting outside, a man from the Lagos State Command. All right, so what can I do for you? Your wife, Angela, is dead. Excuse me? Yes. Mrs. Angela Dimobi is dead. Countless times. I was nowhere close to Enugu that night. I was in Lagos and I can prove it. I hope for your sake you can do so. But let me let you into a little secret. This is my ninth year in the police force. And I have not failed in one case. Well then I wish you luck on this one too because you've got nothing in me. Let me also let you know that until I see your proof, we intend to detain you here. Excuse me? Excuse me, what's, what's going on here? You detain me for what? Really, what is going on here? I'm the one who lost my wife. Really shut up. Don't talk to me like that. Really you're shut up. Me. Shut up. It's a murder case we're talking about here, and you know the position of the law. You think we're joking here? Is that what you think? Tell your boss to release my phones, please. I need to speak to my lawyer. Well, there's no doubt about that. We will allow you to speak to your lawyer. But in your best interest, you better calm down. Put an eye on him. I need to speak with the DPU to confirm if the transfer formalities is complete. We have to take this young man to Enugu. 
What's going on here? Why are you taking, why are you taking me to another state? Why? why? Mr. Dimobi, sin of crime. That is the normal police procedure. You are going to Enugu with us. You guys are just in pop. Please, can I have my phones? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, please, I'm here to see my client. Who? What's his name? Mr. Dimobi. Mr. Dimobi. Yes. Okay. Same day. Oh, thank you. You can go. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes. All right. Fine. Chike, what is the meaning of all this? Angela is dead. What? Your wife? Yes. What happened? Accident? No. She was murdered. Murdered? Who would want to do that? I don't know. I don't know. But for some funny reason, these people here think I did. I... I hope it's not what I'm thinking. What? She even you? It would, you believe I killed my wife? It's not that. It's just that it's such a coincidence. What coincidence? You wanted her out of your life. You wanted her out of the way. Now she's dead. Permanently out. She was murdered on the same night. What night? The same night that you and I slept in the hotel together. Someone went to their family house at Enugu, shot her dead on the same night. Hi, honey. Hey. What's the matter? Are you okay? The baby? The baby's fine. What's the matter then? My client. Your client? He's been arrested. Arrested? Why? His wife is dead. His w Hang on a minute. Your client who wanted to divorce his wife? Yes. Okay, so why are they arresting him when he should be mourning his dead wife? She was murdered. Murdered? And the police think he did it. Why? Why would he do a thing like that? He didn't do it. Baby, you're a very smart lawyer. And I know you've won 15 straight cases in a row. Correct. But um, this is a criminal case, you know. Meaning? Everything's not what it seems. I don't follow. Human beings can be a bit unpredictable sometimes. Are you insinuating? Yes. He could have done it. <laughs> You're wrong. He didn't do it. How do you know that? Because I know he didn't do it. But I do not handle criminal matters because of my belief. Does not mean I am not capable of handling such matters. And you know it, Don. <sighs> so what do you want to do now? They're taking him to Enugu. Why Enugu? Scene of crime. And they will not waste time in charging him to court. Wait, you're leaving Lagos to go to faraway Enugu, a totally alien place? 
to go and defend him? Is that what you want to tell me? Sweetheart, the laws of the Federal Republic on criminal matters is the same everywhere, nationwide. And what happened to your beliefs? I do not handle criminal matters because I do not want to have to lie just to represent someone in court. No! And how about now? I don't, I don't have to lie about anything. I don't have to lie. I, I just know he didn't do it. Baby. Is there something you need to tell me about this? About what? I don't know. Anything. Anything? About Mr. Demobi? Maybe. No. <laughs> no! There's absolutely nothing to talk about. Okay. So why don't you want to drop this case? I won't. That you, Chike Demobi, on 25th August, at exactly 10.15 p.m., went to number 25, Mbanifo Street, New Urban, Enogo, with a loaded gun, shot Angela Demobi, Ni Ayao, who until that fateful night was your legally married wife. Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. My lord, I am applying for bail for my client based on self-recognition. Self-recognition? Yes, my lord. He is a respectable gentleman, someone who in his 40 years of life has never been to the police station for any matter, civil or criminal. A young man who neighbors describe as not being capable of hurting a fly. We are not on trial yet, counsel. I am quite aware, my lord. I'm only clarifying my plea that bail be granted. Uh, my lord, we're talking of a criminal case. First degree murder? Exactly. On the strength of that, bail is denied. The suspect is to be remanded in prison custody. Case adjourned till the 30th of September. As the court pleases. I rise. Court. What's with this strange attitude? I'm not just in the mood to do anything this night, please. Okay, so what's the problem? They refuse to grant him bail. Who? Are you acting as if you don't know who I'm talking about? Chiki, of course. Chiki? Yes. Mr. Dimobi. I see. I am going to apply for another bill and I hope the judge obliges. Look, I wish you all the best and I, 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 I hope the best for you. What I don't understand is what this has to do with me wanting to make love to my wife. Honey, I can't possibly be having fun when my client an innocent man is in detention over a crime he didn't commit. Baby, I got it. What you need? All right, I'm off, babe. Okay, so when are you back? Can't say. You can't say? Well, you know how it is. Anytime I go to Abuja, anything could just come up. I know. But remember you promised me that. I know what I promised. But how about my wife becoming someone else because of some... It's okay. It's okay. All right, so I'll see you later then. All right. 
I... Thou shalt not overwork thyself. And thou shalt not commit adultery. <laughs> Lita. My lord, I think it would be most appropriate if the IPO, who is incidentally in court, tendered the results of his investigation so far. Objection, my lord. On what grounds, counsel? Distortion. Let this court decide that. Objection overruled. Thank you, my lord. Um, Inspector Mark? Yes, please. Would you please come forward? Are you a Muslim, a Christian, or a pagan? I am a Christian. Please do repeat after me. I. I, Inspector Mark. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That the evidence I shall give in this court. That the evidence I shall give in this court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Amen. Yeah. Now, Inspector Mark, uh, I want you to open the hearing of this case by making the results of your investigations known to this court. Thank you. My Lord, I have here the result of the preliminary investigation done in company of my partner, Sergeant Okoro. Go on. Thank you. We were assigned to this case about 10 hours after the incident. As our custom demands, we went straight to the crime scene. On getting there, we scooped from the mother of the deceased that the deceased spends an unusual longer time with the family. Uh, Inspector, how long exactly? Well, she said she spends not less than seven days every month since the 15-month marriage. Most unusual. Yes, it is. Uh, well, we further probed and asked more questions. And she further said to us that each time the husband, the accused, called at the family house and rang the bell, that her daughter, the deceased, will always mention the name Chike and get the door. And then she's bang on target. Well, she also told us that he's a frequent caller, dating back to when they were courting. She also emphasized that she has not missed one of over 50 of such incidences. Yes, Inspector, but what connection has this with this case? On that night, the 25th of August, before she met with her death, the doorbell rang. And then she mentioned the name again, characteristically, and she went for the door. There she met her death. <laughs> Please go on. Inspector. Thank you. Okoro and I proceeded to Lagos. On getting to Lagos, we went straight to business. Investigations reveals that the accused here actually took an afternoon flight to Enugu the day his wife was murdered. And he denies these during investigations. Objection, my lord. Overruled. Uh, go on, Inspector. Thank you. We also scooped that. He was tired of the marriage. How do you mean? Before the incident, he was planning to get her divorced. Is that so? Yes. And he also said that if it meant killing her, he will do so just to get her out of the way. Uh, Inspector, are you sure of that last remark? I am certain, and I have witnesses. Look battered. I forgot to tell you. 
I was expecting anything different. So let's let's get on with it. What's the plan? You have to get me out of here as soon as possible. I need you to tell me the truth. I need to know what I'm up against. What truth again? What? That I killed my wife? Come on, Jeff. You and I have been over this before. Not, not that. Um, did you actually say that you were going to kill your wife just to get rid of her? Yes, talk to me. I am tired. Tired of what? I want to divorce my wife. I say that I, I am tired. Divorce? Yes. Whatever for, man. You want to understand now. You're not a married man. She has to go. I'm tired of the marriage. Man, it will not be easy. Mm. These days, women prefer to die than to lose their husbands. Okay. Especially to divorce. So be it then. What? Are you serious? What is are you serious? She women prefer to die, Abby. Uh -huh. She will die. If that girl does not get out of my house, eh? I will kill her with my bare hands. With my two hands, I will kill her. Kill her? Ah, man. You must really want to get rid of her pretty badly then. No? No judge would understand that, under the circumstance. But there was nothing to it. I was just talking to off. Do you know what you've succeeded in doing? You have just provided them with the missing link they've been searching for. What link? The motive. But you know that I did not kill my wife. Chike, it's not about what I know. It's about the facts on ground. Oh well, you are a lawyer and I suspect that it's your duty to convince the judge. Do you know that each day that passes on this case draws you closer to the gallows? Okay, well, then tell, tell them the truth. Tell them what you've got to tell them. Tell them the truth. What? That you were with me that night. That you slept with me the night my wife was murdered. <laughs> Do you know what you're saying? I say realize what I'm saying, but that's the only chance we've got right now. You have to get me out of here. And kiss my marriage goodbye. So you would prefer that I get convicted, possibly killed, for a crime I did not commit. Hello? What are you still doing in the office? Don? Where are you? Well, I just got home to an empty house. Oh, I'm sorry. I just... I just have some things to sort out in the office. Do you realize what time it is now? It's 11.45. <sighs> I'm really sorry. I didn't realize it was this late. This case is really, really stretching me. What case is this? Mr. Demobi's case. I... It's, it's getting more difficult and more complicated by the day. I warned you. I warned you, Chi. I know, but I have to save him. I want you back home now. John, I, I'm, I'm afraid I can't go home now. I can't come home. I'm spending the night at the office. I need. What? Now. Mr. Chike Dimove, you said you were not in Enugu on the very day that you murdered your wife. Objection, my lord. That question is most suggestive, to say the least. Sustained. Prosecuting counsel, you should know better than such awkward beginning. I'm sorry, my lord. So, Mr. Chike Dimove, on the day that your wife died, can you please tell this court where you were? I was in Lagos. In Lagos? Yes. In your house? No. 
Uh, so, where were you? I was in a hotel. In a hotel? Why? I needed to rest and um, needed some private moment to myself. So, did your houseboy know which hotel? No. Why? Like I said, I wanted some private moment to myself. Private moments indeed. Was it why you told your houseboy that you were going to Abuja? Exactly. Ah. So you told your houseboy you were going to Abuja, but then you went to Enugu. And now you are telling this court that you were in Lagos. Objection, my lord. Overruled. Oh, come on, Mr. Dimovi. Why don't you tell this court where you really were on that night? I said I was in Lagos. My lord, may I tender this in evidence? What's that? Uh, the manifest of uh, Adams Airlines, flight 434 to Enugu on the 25th of August. My lord, the flight took off from Lagos at 3.15 p.m. and landed in Enugu by Port Harcourt, of course, three hours later. So? My lord, the 47th name on that list that should interest this court, it is that of Mr. Chike Dimobi. Yet he claims he was in Lagos. I can explain that. Oh, I'm all ears. And so is everybody else in this court. I intended to travel to Enugu and while away sometime. But I changed my mind. I, I, I changed my mind at the local departure lounge and sold my ticket to a desperate man who was very grateful. And then I stepped out, took a cab and headed straight to the hotel. Oh, that's plausible. But could have been made up, you know. So is there anybody that you can call to corroborate your story? Oh no, I... I didn't see anyone I know. So how do you expect this court to believe you, knowing what is at stake? Okay now, let's, let's get to the hotel part. Which hotel exactly? Uh. Mr. Dimobi, which hotel? Um, New World Hotel, Lakey. My lord, may I also tender this in evidence? That should be exhibit two. Yes, my lord. It is the list of lodgers. One week before and one week after the date in question. My lord, 200 names. And of interest to this court yet again, no chike de movie. Order! I did not check in in my name. You didn't? No, I did not. Why? Can you tell this court your reason? Like I said, I wanted total privacy. Total privacy? My lord, I, I think we should underline this word total privacy. So now, you want me to believe that you booked into this hotel with other names, yeah? Okay. I'll believe you. But on one condition, that you tell me the names you booked in with. No, oh, come on, Mr. Dimogi. Mr. Dimogi! I don't remember. You don't remember? Yes, my lord. My lord, I have no more use for this lying murderer. I rest my case. Objection, my lord. I will not have... What is wrong? I don't know. You don't know? I can't remember anything you have to save. You. Save you? When you don't even want to save yourself. And tell them the truth. Tell them that you and I were together that night. That is not an option. Well, I'm telling them the next court session. Chiki, you do that. I deny you and pull out of your defense.
crazy or something? I'm sorry, I didn't see it. I... You're a fucking bitch! Jesus! If you wanted to commit suicide, why not look for somebody else? I said I'm sorry, I didn't see you coming. Then, go home. You know what you need? What? A nice hard fuck that will bring you back to your fucking senses. Jesus Christ! Why are you saying all this to me? Leave Jesus out of this. Get home immediately. Go home to your husband, your boyfriend, or whoever. You need it. You need it. You definitely need it, bitch. So when next is your case coming up in court? Um, in three days. How far have you gone with getting a credible alibi? What, what did you just say? Come on. You know that you have to bring someone who can swear he was with your clients the night his wife was killed. Not just swear, but prove he was there as well. How? I... I mean, what makes you think that's exactly what he needs? I may not be a lawyer, but I know some fundamentals of the law. Honestly, I, I didn't think of anything like this when he called me. But what happened? I mean, you've been a source of inspiration to most of us. I don't. I don't know what to say. That's just it. I don't know. This is the first time I'm going to have something to do with another man. It has never happened. Well, you have made a great mistake, an expensive one at that. I mean, now you have God and your husband to contend with. And I also have myself to contend with. I have dented my life. Things can never remain the same. Ada, I am telling you all this because you have assured me that my secrets are safe with you. Okay, now let's you guys get straight to the point. Where do I come in? <sighs> the night I slept with him, his wife was killed. What? And it gets worse. The police believe he did it and they will not hesitate in hanging him if he's convicted. How are you sure he did it? That is where you come in. The night his wife was murdered was the same night I committed adultery with him in a hotel here in Lagos. If I can prove to them in court that he was with someone here in Lagos, then he can be a free man. Then all of this will be over. I need you to help me, Ada, please. Chi, I know I promised to help you, but this is way out of it. Manda, please. I'm begging. Have you forgotten who we are? I need you to help me do this, please. Chi, we are believers, born again Christians. I know. That is why I am asking you to do this for me. Please. I don't think I can. Come on. Have you stopped to think what the church will think? The media? My family. Why don't you think of it this way? What do you think people will say when they hear a married woman slept with her client in a hotel? The congregation will bring me down. Not just the congregation, a whole lot of other denominations. Ada, please, I need your help, please. Why did you consider all that when you were doing it? Ada, please, it's easy for you to say because you're not in my shoes. We all make mistakes. Have you, have you, have you done something that you find it difficult to explain? not this. I know you won't understand it now. It was as if I was hypnotized. Before I knew what was happening, we were on the floor. And it was all over me. And didn't you think of that? Enough, Ada, please. Enough. It is so easy for you to condemn someone because the person did wrong. I made a mistake. We're human beings, we're not perfect. And believe me, Ada, the devil is powerful. All right, 
Please, uh, I don't mean to hurt you more. But you stayed the night? Yes. Why? I mean, you should have you should have left after the first time, shown more remorse. And you think I didn't? You think I didn't show some sort of remorse? And uh, the devil boxed me in. What are you up to? I am going to my house. You can't possibly want to go now. Hey, 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 look. It's really late. You can't leave. Have you looked at the time? Who cares? to confess our sins and die with it, huh? how it all happened and that is why I am absolutely certain he didn't travel that night because I was with him all through in the hotel I don't know what to say I'm, I'm just so confused don't be confused think of it this way we usually go out on evangelism to preach to people on Sundays. Yes. What do you think they will say if they hear what I did? More so if this story goes out, Ada, my marriage is over. I can just imagine the scenario. But really, Chi, have you forgotten I'm not yet married? How do you expect people to look at me? How do you expect me to find a husband when, when word gets out that I slip around with married men in hotels? Ada, men don't think like that anymore. You think so? Yes, I know so. Please, you have to help me save my marriage. Don loves me so much and I love him too. If this news gets to him, it will break his ass and I don't want him to divorce me, please. She but is this man worth all the troubles? I mean, this is the same man that defiled you and you're here trying so desperately to save him. Because he has threatened to say in court that he was with me the same night his wife was murdered to prove his innocence. And if I do not intercede now, if I don't do something, I may be asked to say what I know. And you know what a dying man can do. You know how dying men act. Please. This is... This is tough for me. Just, just give me time, okay? Call me tomorrow. Do anything about it. Hello? Ada? Yes. Miss Ada Emenike, you want this court to believe that you spent the night of the 25th of August with Mr. Chike Dimovi? Yes. From when to when exactly? From 8.15 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. the following day. How could you be so certain of the time? 
He told me to be there by 8 p.m. that evening. I remember I was 15 minutes late. The following day, I was late to the office because I woke up late in the hotel at exactly 6.30 a.m. I remember this because I, I checked the time on both occasions. Perfect, really. So you woke up late because you were busy throughout the night, right? <laughs> Order! So tell me, how long did you do it for? Objection, my lord. My lord, I only wish to a certain substance and reliability here. Objection overruled. Thank you, my lord. So tell me, tell this court how long you did it for. Miss Emenike. All night. All night. Order. Oh. Oh, you are a born again Christian, are you not? Objection, my lord. We are not talking about religion here. My lord, I am cross-examining, and a man's life is on the line here. The norm has always been beyond every reasonable doubt. And if I may, <laughs> Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is the relationship with God the Father through his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Objection overruled. Please proceed with the questions. Thank you, my lord. So, tell me, you are a born-again Christian, right? Yes, I am. That's good, because I'm not. But I appreciate their strong beliefs and strict adherence to biblical principles. So, tell me, what were you practicing when you not only visited a man in his hotel room, but also sleeping with him throughout the night, committing adultery? Whatever happened to your beliefs? I'm human. Imperfect. I'm not beyond temptation. The, the devil visited me and had me for dinner. Oh, very well rehearsed. Objection, my lord. I wish to state that I do not approve of the prosecuting counsel's insinuating and sarcastic method. Sustained prosecuting counsel. Thrive within ethics. Forgive me, my lord. So, now you said you spent the whole night with the accused, right? Yes, I did. So tell me, who amongst the two of you was predominant? I don't understand. I mean, which between the two of you was uh, mostly on top? Objection, my lord. Sustained. My lord, I only... Objection sustained. Okay, now, tell me, young lady. How would you describe Mr. Chike Dimovi's manhood? I don't understand. No, in simple terms. Would you say it was short, moderate, long, or oversized? Objection, my lord! Overruled. Please, witness, answer the question. I... I... I have many friends who are born again Christians, you know. And they do not lie. You will be rubbishing your faith if you lied on the oath. And aside, lying on the oath is perjury, which is a crime under the law, and it's punishable by the law. So for the very last time, Miss Ada Emenike, tell this court the size of the accused's manhood. I don't know. You had it all night, didn't you? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> My lord, I have no more use for this line thing. <laughs> so ashamed of myself. It's all my fault. <laughs> I should have known that animal was going to probe that far. I'm really sorry, please. <laughs> please, forgive me, please. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay.
okay, I just have to carry my cross. Please stop crying. Please. If I have God, if I have God, it's my integrity. Now I'm all but sold. All I have is all gone. Nothing left with me. And the judging It's nothing but a mistake find My Lord, may I present my first witness? Go ahead. I call on Miss Uchenna Ugo. Are you a Christian, Muslim, or pagan? A Christian. Please repeat after me. I. I, Uchenna Ugo. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That the evidence I shall present in this court. That the evidence I shall present in this court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Miss Uchenna. Would you please tell this court what you do for a living? I'm a student and I stay with my parents at number 25, Mbane, 4th Street, New Heaven, Enugu. The same building with the deceased? Yes, sir. Now, Ms. Suchino, tell the court what you saw on the night that Mrs. Angela Dimovi was murdered. Objection, my lord. Until the claims of this lady is ascertained to be accurate, I won't have her make further statements in this court. My lord, I only wish to prove my case beyond any reasonable doubt. She is a key witness. My lord, this is a man's life on the line. We cannot certainly allow her make further statements without confirmation of identity. But surely this court can verify these claims later. Objection sustained. I want the IPO's confirmation of the identity of the witness. Case adjourned. I rise. Court! Escape. That's a long story. Chiki, please. You are not a criminal. Don't make yourself one. You have to go back. On one condition. Which is? That you go to court. Tell them the truth that you and I know. You will tell them that you and I slept together that night. 
have you considered what this would do to my marriage? For Christ's sake, my life is more important than your goddamn marriage! Yes, maybe to you, but to me, my marriage means everything. Everything! How will you continue living if you end up letting me die for a crime that you and I know that I did not commit? I mean, look at me. Look at me. My entire life is in your hands. My entire destiny is in your hands, G. Let me worry about that. Fine. And I'm not going back there. I will escape. From here. You can't. Chike, you can't! Then do it! Are you going to do it and tell them the truth? My lord, the last time we had this case, I had a witness in the stand. But my learned colleague insisted on proper identification. And uh, has that been done? Uh, by the way, where is the IPO? Uh, the IPO went back to the station this morning, my lord. The witness in question, Miss Uchenna Ugu, is dead. <laughs> uh, she was stabbed to death in her bedroom, my lord, the same resident with the late Angela Dimoto. Now, my lord, I wish to open cross-examination today by asking the accused where he was last night. Where he was? Yes, my lord. Well, I scooped that uh, he slipped out of prison last night. My lord, can my learned counsel here prove the last session? Well, maybe not yet, my lord. But you know me. I'll get my proof even if it's the last thing that I do. My lord, I wish to present one more witness. Your what? One last witness and this whole thing will be over. My lord, I'm in the process of cross-examination. Well, the defense counsel can call in the witness. Thank you, my lord. The last witness I will be calling is myself. What? Yes, my lord. Myself. Objection, my lord. I hope my learned colleague is not intending on turning this court seating into a, a comedy session. My lord, a man's life is on the line here. Every method, orthodox or unorthodox, is necessary. An innocent man is inching closer and closer to the gallows. I am the last witness. Well, I'll grant you this last bizarre request. 
and you better make it good. I. I, Chi Mba. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That the evidence I shall give in this court. That the evidence I shall give in this court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. And nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. I was with the accused on that night. What? We spent the night together. Order! Jesus. Try another one, smart girl. I am a believer, a born again Christian. I, I am certain that the church will expel me on the account of this. Most importantly, I am putting my marriage on the line by coming to this witness stand. My Lord, it is for certain that my marriage has ended. Every lawyer wants to win a case. Some even desperate. But no case. Nothing is worth my marriage. I cannot watch an innocent man hang for a crime he didn't commit. I thought I could find a way of eating my cake and having it. But the last straw was when I brought my friend Ada Emenike to take the stand for a sin I committed. My Lord, I was with the accused from 8.15 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. A question. My lord, may I ask her why she's waited this long to come out with this? It is very simple. I love my husband. I cherish my marriage. I was battling between saving my marriage and letting an innocent man hang for a crime he didn't commit. Well, I put it to you that this is all a clever ploy to win this case. Mrs. Mba, you have an immaculate record of 15 straight wins. No doubt you wish to make this your 16th. But not as desperate as you do. It's a man's life at stake. And I put it to you that you were never with the accused on the date in question. Objection. My lord, please permit me to present to the benefit of this court the killer of Mrs. Dimobi and Uchenna Ugo. What did you just say? My lord, the young man in question is Julius Okafo. He was engaged to be married to Mrs. Dimobi. But his violent nature forced her to look elsewhere. So he decided to silence her as means of revenge. Uh, my lord, this young man killed Uchenna Ugo last night. His reasons being that he was afraid that she will shift the suspicions from Mr. Dimobi. My Lord, Okoro and I did a thorough work and investigation, and we have proofs. My Lord, please permit me to tender this in evidence. Inside that bag is the murder weapon, a Western-made 38 automatic revolver. Counsel, you could have saved your marriage if you had waited 10 more minutes. It doesn't matter anymore. I owe the world my confession. And I just made it. Well, you can step down. And good luck to you and your husband. Clark. Yes, my lord. Prepare documents for the release of... Uh, Mr. Dimobi. Yes. Cannot find a reason. Still I cry forgiveness. Wish I 
Explain this. Is it true? Yes. No, tell me it's a lie. You can explain, I'm sorry. Stop. 